This week's play it should bring back a few memories. Learning Woodwind. How do you fancy yourself behind a saxophone? Or would a toot on the flute uh, suit? You may be surprised to find that it's all easier than you think to play it. <laughs> Here's the biggest family of solo instruments around, the woodwinds. There's the flute and the clarinet. There's the bassoon and the delicate and rather awkward oboe. Next door, all metal but still called woodwind, the saxophone section. Meet a sweet-sounding family of instruments with something to offer to everyone. Musical heroes make musical crazes. At the Kent Music School, they see it all. Yes, we do. Um, I mean, the one that I remember most clearly was James Galway, who really popularised the flute, jo James Galway and his golden flute. What happened here when... Well, we were big? inundated. I mean, the number of people who wanted to learn the flute, the waiting list for flute lessons, the number of uh, our um, higher instruments that we had to get in to satisfy the demand was enormous. It went up pretty well overnight. I mean, he hit the headlines in, in one particular year, I can't remember, and it made a big difference. The flute was born, so it's said, when man first noticed the sound of wind blowing across the end of a hollow branch. The vibrations inside came out as music. The flute is just a little tube small enough for us to blow across. To make the notes higher or lower, there are keys and pads which uncover holes in the tube. Uncover the holes, make the tube shorter, you'll get a higher note. All computer design nowadays, of course, and aim to make the flute sweeter and easier than ever before. You could get that sort of range out of the instrument almost on the first lesson. When you start expanding the register, you'll find that you have to blow a lot harder and the sound can get very messy, and that takes far more skill but we're still talking about a relatively simple instrument at this stage. Expensive? How much? Mm, about 250 to 300 pounds to start. The snags? Well, our musical road testers, Anne and Joan, tried the flute and discovered that even before you hold the rest of it out, there's a real knack to that blowing. I think it's just getting, um, obviously, used to the mouthpiece and your breathing. Once you've overcome that, I suppose it's the keys, is it? You have to... Yes, the, the keys aren't a major problem. But not. But yes, no. it, it's, it's mainly breathing, mm. making a nice sound. You'll also need a knack for this instrument, the clarinet. Here's how this one works. You bung a reed on the top of the instrument and the reed vibrates. It's just like putting a piece of um, grass between your thumbs and blowing, and that sort of nasty noise you make is very similar to the noise that most beginners make when they first take up the clarinet. So, hold it about 45 degrees. Mm. Now, your bottom lip needs to curl under... Over your teeth. Over your teeth, mm. that's right. And you're, you put quite a lot in your mouth, and your top teeth actually go bang on top of the mouthpiece, and make them go click. Ah, oh, yes, right. wasn't that lovely? That's a nice <laughs> unrefined sound. Yes. You should be able to improve that sound. Once you've got the first sound from a clarinet, and Joan got it quickly, progress is fairly rapid and kind on the neighbours. Prices, £175 upwards, second hand. But do buy the best you can afford. The tone of this instrument is everything. And something to remember, particularly for young beginners, the clarinet's made of wood, it's a very heavy instrument, so you need some strength and you need to have a reasonable range of your fingers. So probably, some people start as early as eight years old, but generally it's 10 or 11 years old is a good starting age. At a glance, this looks like a nice slim clarinet. It isn't, of course, it's the oboe. Take up the oboe if you dare. It's difficult because the reed makes it the hardest instrument to play. It takes a lot of pressure, a lot of control, um, but you get the greatest rewards because it makes one of the most beautiful sounds in the orchestra. It's just two pieces of cane tied together, but unlike the clarinet or the saxophone, it's not tied to a mouthpiece. So you have to do all the work of forming your lips around the reed to make the sound. 
you need to approach the oboe with great caution. Uh, to be a good oboist, you have to start young, so it's no good waiting until you're, you're older and more, you feel you're more able to cope. At 800 pounds, the oboe is twice the price of a good clarinet, but there again, it is twice the challenge. Do you fancy a bassoon then, the oboe's bigger brother? The bassoon is one of the most fun instruments to play. It works on the same principle as the oboe, it has a double reed, um, but it doesn't need quite such pressure to play it, so it doesn't need such strong lungs or such strong lip pressure. Um, it's a very good instrument for adults to take up, especially those who have played an instrument already and would like to play something where they're going to have a lot of use out of it. If you're a flautist or a clarinetist, there are plenty of other flutes and clarinets around, but there's never a bassoon when you need one. In 1846, adult Sachs invented a new kind of woodwind. In another flash of brilliance, Mr. Sachs came up with a name for it, the saxophone. Of the eight sizes he created, only four have really stood the test of time. Apart from the tenor, there's the big baritone and the long straight soprano. And this one, perhaps the best for beginners, the alto. If you're looking for an instrument to progress on quickly, the saxophone is great. Randy Colville plays one for a living. The saxophone's great advantage, I think, uh, which may not be apparent immediately, is that all saxophones have exactly the same fingering. So if you take one up, with a little bit of uh, practice, you can transfer to others. And also the embouchure, which is the shape you make your mouth into blow, uh, is very similar for all of them. It varies, but it's similar. The saxophone makes it sound with a reed, which is why it's called a woodwind instrument. Don't be put off by the complicated keys, by the way. The more machinery, the easier an instrument.